Folks, we finally have some news about OpenAI's Strawberry. Now, what is Strawberry? If you don't know, it's essentially the next big leap in AI development. These models are supposed to reason at a level that mirrors human-like thinking, which means they can generate responses that truly feel human. Basically, we're talking about a new level of AI reasoning, way beyond what we've seen so far. Now, folks, check out the video because we're going to be taking a deep dive into what has been tested and how much we know about Strawberry in terms of real use cases. Yep, you got that right. Buckle in. There's a lot to unpack. First off, one thing that's clear is the hype surrounding this particular model. There's been a lot of chatter, tweets and speculation. And you know what? A lot of this was stirred up by the man himself, Sam Altman. He tweeted something pretty interesting a few days ago saying, I love summer in the garden, along with a picture of his garden where you can see strawberries growing. The timing of this was pretty auspicious because around the same time there were other accounts also buzzing about strawberries and this garnered a lot of attention. About 1.5 million views, 10,000 likes and 1,000 retweets. And it's pretty obvious that this was a nod to OpenAI's strawberry model. Now, if you will recall, Reuters had previously reported that the Strawberry model was the new name for what used to be called the Q-Star model. So when Sam Altman tweeted that image, a lot of people started speculating. And the speculation continues that we might be on the verge of a new model release. Then there was a Twitter account that started posting at a rapid pace, almost like an AI was behind it. Although it seemed just like another account, it became apparent that it might be tied to OpenAI. One tweet really stood out. Welcome to level two. How do you feel? Did I make you feel? Now, the surprising part of that, Sam Altman responded with, amazing, to be honest. Now, this seems to indicate that there's something more significant going on. The phrase, welcome to level two, is likely a reference to OpenAI's levels of AGI, particularly level two reasoners with human level problem solving. OpenAI had hinted that they were nearing this milestone and Sam's response indicates they might have achieved it with Project Strawberry. Then according to Reuters, OpenAI executives mentioned that while they're currently at level one, they're on the brink of reaching level two, where AI can solve problems at the level of a human with a doctorate, but without any tools. Now, this is incredibly significant because mastering human level problem solving without relying on tools is a monumental achievement in the AGI landscape. Reaching level two means we're only a step away from level three, which is anticipated to come next year. Then folks, there's some more interesting things to unpack when we revisit some of the original reports about Strawberry. Just to refresh everyone's memory, some pretty astonishing details were mentioned because the project aims to develop Strawberry models that not only generate answers, but also plan ahead, navigate the internet autonomously and conduct what OpenAI calls deep research. And this is something the current AI models have struggled with because performing a sequence of complex actions over time requires a high degree of reliability. If an error occurs in the early stages, the chances of additional errors increase, making it challenging to maintain accuracy throughout the process. So all of this is pretty crucial, folks, and it's fascinating when you think about what's happening with reasoning abilities. Things like planning ahead, understanding how the physical world works, and so on. I mean, when you combine Sam Altman's strawberry tweet with that random account popping up and saying, welcome to level two, it really makes me wonder if we're not on the reasoner stage where AI can solve problems at a human level. Now, you might be thinking, how do we even know this is legit? Well, just a couple of hours later, that same account tweeted, this is available for direct chat. Enjoy. The chat it referenced, called Sus Column R, seems to be connected to OpenAI's model. If you remember, the name Sus Column R likely ties back to the infamous issue where AI models struggled to count the letters in the word strawberry. Now, folks, let's look at some of those intriguing examples I promised earlier in the video. So one of the tests was done on a few common sense and reasoning abilities, and the tests were run across a bunch of different models like Gemini 1.5 Pro Experimental, the Strawberry model, and even the beloved Claude 3.5. Now, some strange things came up that are definitely worth sharing. Let's take a closer look. One of the first questions tested, which came from AI Explains Bench, went something like this. Beth places four whole ice cubes in a fire at the start of the first minute. Then five at the start of the second minute. 
then some more at the start of the third minute, but none in the fourth minute. If the average number of ice cubes per minute placed in the fire was five, how many whole ice cubes can be found in the fire at the end of the minute? So, naturally, the answer should be pretty straightforward. No ice cubes left because they'd melt in the fire. But here's where it gets interesting because Gemini 1.5 Pro got it wrong and said 5. GPT-4 also missed the mark and said 11, and you can see how it started to overcomplicate things. Surprisingly, Strawberry nailed it, getting the right answer. And as for Claude 3.5, I hate to say it, folks, but despite being a solid model, it completely missed 2, saying 20. What's cool about Strawberry's response is how it explained things. Thus, the most realistic answer of whole ice cubes still in the fire at the end of the third minute would be zero, assuming the whole ice cubes imply those that have not melted at all, which in a fire would be none by the end of three minutes. However, if we interpret the whole more leniently to include those that are not completely melted, then 11 could also be considered since those placed in the third minute would not have had time to melt significantly. Given the options, in the realistic scenario in the fire, B might be a better choice if you're counting cubes that are still largely intact. I guess that out of all of the models, this was by far the most detailed and accurate. But here's the weird part. Gemini 1.5 Pro, after initially getting it wrong somehow, got it right on another try, saying, the most realistic answer is zero. Ice melts quickly in fire, and the question asks about the end of the third minute, by which point the ice would have melted completely. This inconsistency made Strawberry seem like it might have the edge in reasoning ability. Now folks, get this. There's a paper called Easy Problems That LLMs Get Wrong. Basically, it evaluates how large language models struggle with tasks that humans find simple, like logical reasoning and spatial intelligence, and this paper was used as a reference for the upcoming tests I'm about to tell you about. So, the idea was to see how well these models could handle questions that humans typically answer with ease. One question from the paper was, you're in a room with two doors. One leads to death, the other leads to freedom. Two guardians are present. One always tells the truth and guards the death door. The other always lies. What's the minimum number of questions needed to escape safely? The answer is simple. Choose the door guarded by the shorter guardian as the taller one guards the death door. Surprisingly, guys, Strawberry missed this, providing a long-winded response without getting it right. Then, unfortunately, none of the other models got this question right either, which is notable since humans usually do. This question was, how many pairs of twins are needed in a room for a 50% chance that two people share the same birthday? The correct answer is one pair, as twins typically share a birthday, though there are rare exceptions. Yet folks, even with the straightforward question, the model struggled to provide the correct answer. But here's the issue. The model didn't account for exceptions, like twins born on different dates, and jump straight to the birthday paradox, just like other models did. Another example popped up that was pretty surprising. One of those moments where you think, wait, this doesn't even make sense. The question was, count the number of occurrences of the letter L in the word Lollapalooza. Strawberry answered five twice in a row, but obviously the correct answer is four. Claude and Gemini 1.5 both got it right, which made this even stranger because this raises the question, if Strawberry is supposed to be OpenAI's top reasoning model, why is it struggling with something a human would easily get? And if other models can nail it, why can't Strawberry? I think this likely comes down to how the model is trained, because it's possible that Strawberry's reasoning ability is strong, but it might be getting tested against the wrong benchmarks. This isn't an excuse for the model, don't get me wrong. It should be able to handle these basic questions, but we need to consider if the benchmarks truly reflect what OpenAI aims to achieve with this model. There was another question tested, which Gemini 1.5 Pro got right, but no other model did. A runaway trolley is heading down the tracks, away from five people upwards of the track. You are near a lever that can switch the trolley to another track. Does it impact people's lives if you pull the lever? The answer is simple. It doesn't because the trolley is already moving away. Gemini 1.5 Pro got this right, stating that pulling the lever wouldn't change anything. But Strawberry, again, overcomplicated things, going on a long tangent without getting to the point. Now, I guess this leads to a broader conclusion. While Strawberry might be good at reasoning, it seems to overthink every problem, making it prone to overcomplicating simple tasks. Other models don't seem to get tangled up in this particular way. 
One last question was posed. How do you measure exactly four gallons of water with only a three gallon, five gallon and four gallon jug? Strawberry went on a lengthy explanation detailing steps involving filling and transferring water between the jugs. Interestingly, it eventually mentioned simply using the four gallon jug to mention four gallons directly, though it did note this skips the intended puzzle solution. So folks, it seems that Strawberry might be overthinking things because it approaches problems by reasoning through multiple steps, even when the answer is straightforward. This doesn't mean the model lacks intelligence, but it's more about how it interprets the problem. It's like Strawberry sees a simple puzzle and decides it must be more complex than it really is, trying to reason through every step instead of recognizing a trick question. I guess OpenAI's goal with Strawberry was to create a model that can plan ahead and navigate complex tasks, possibly even autonomously, but I think that testing this with simple chatbot-style questions might not fully capture the model's intended capabilities. I mean, it's clear that a different benchmark is needed, possibly one that reflects what Strawberry is designed to achieve. Interestingly, guys, there was one question where Strawberry outperformed other models. If I walk to my friend's house averaging three miles per hour, how fast would I have to run back to double my average speed for the entire trip? The answer involves understanding that to double the average speed to six miles per hour, the entire distance would need to be covered in one hour. But since half of that time was already spent walking, doubling the average speed is impossible. Strawberry got this right, showing its reasoning strength in certain scenarios. So, while Strawberry does get some questions wrong, sometimes shockingly so, it also handles others with impressive accuracy. Right now, it's hard to say if Strawberry is a game changer or just another model in the mix, but it's definitely something to keep an eye on. Let me know in the comments, folks. I'm really curious about your views on the efficiency of Strawberry that has been shown off so far. That said, don't forget to like and subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. And as always, see you in the next one, folks. You all take care.